But Opiyama believes that the women and children of this slice of heaven deserve the best, no matter how lean the resources. If you can't not, you say you're... At the inception of her husband's tenure as governor, Mrs. Imoke says God gave her the man orders. When we came here, God said, one, I, you must build me an altar on the seat of government. I didn't quite understand what that meant. And it turned out that what it was was that he wanted us to have a, an altar, a, pray, a prayer altar in the government house. And so we, we did that. We, we used the hall, the uh, banquet hall in the government house, and we have church there. And it's called the church at Hepzibah. And it's a praying church. We just pray for government. We pray for the governor. We pray for the people of Cross River State. Being wife of the governor is one thing, and knowing what to do is another. Since the constitution of Nigeria has no provision for office of the first lady, Mrs. Imoke had to find creative ways of affecting the lives of the people. I have a passion for, for children. I have a passion to see women loosed from poverty, loosed from constriction, loosed from a lack of knowledge. So I said, okay, why don't I focus on women and children uh, issues and, and see how I can help to, you know, alleviate those restrictions and sufferings. And so, Opium has set up an organization to help coordinate our programs for the women and children of the state. Power, Partnership Opportunities for Women Empowerment Realization. It's um, an initiative that um, we came up with to put more money in the hands of women. Again, power is not about teaching people new stuff, it's about helping them to add value to what they do. Through power, Mrs. Imoke has initiated credit schemes to improve the lives of women generally. But the women with the biggest needs may just be the widows. We also developed another program called uh, GLOW, giving life options to widows. Again, giving specific emphasis to widows who we believe are very, very vulnerable set of people in society today because of what they go through. GLOW is working with the government of Cross River State to provide microfinance to the widows for small-scale businesses. We're looking at uh, over 6,000 widows who government have specifically empowered through their conditional cash transfer project. Cross River is a state with breathtaking views and great wildlife habitats. But there is a significant number of children who do not have the protection of a home. My parents, my mother, they take me. Means the time that I was small. I don't agree that children should live on the streets. And so we were able to take um, quite a number of them off the streets. Through Obioma's initiative, some of these kids have a new story to tell. I thank, I thank her for the thing that she has done for us. And I want to say, God, thank you for giving us a place to stay. As thousands of tourists flock to Calabar every year to celebrate Christmas in the biggest street party in Africa, the women and children of Cross River have a reason to jubilate too. Mrs. Obioma Imoke, the governor's wife, is dedicated to putting smiles on their faces. And she says her abiding philosophy can only be found in one place. One day I was reading the Bible and I, I, I read again where Jesus Christ said that you didn't know, but I was naked on the streets and you clothed me, I was homeless and you gave me a roof. I said, is that what this is? You see, so when you, when you just leave yourself for God to work with, he will do it without you even knowing that you're doing it. <laughs>